All right, Connor, am I the a-hole? Once again, we are judging the internet. Am I the a-hole for pointing out she's too young for this? All right, my, my ex-husband, male 42, and I, female 42, got divorced four years ago. We have a son, male 9, and a daughter, female 7, together. We're still good parents and co-parents. My ex started dating this girl about a year ago, and he introduced her to our kids about a month ago, and they moved in together. My kids usually described her as young and nice, so I assume she must be in her 30s. Let's call her Katie. A few days ago, I got a call from someone. She introduced herself as Katie and said my son is sick and she has been trying to contact my ex, but he's not answering. He puts his phone on silent when he's at an important meeting. She's clearly nervous, told me that she doesn't know what to do, and asked if I could go there. I left work and went to their home. She opened the door and I was very surprised because she looked so young, like she was about 19. She told me that my son had a high fever and she had no idea what to do and she's going to be late for college. I told her not to worry and go, I'll take care of my son. Okay, what is going on here? I'm a um, little lost, bro. So, okay, lie. so these two people are divorced, right? The person writing yeah. it is the, the woman who got divorced. Okay, so the guy started dating this young girl apparently and she's mad <laughs> okay no she's 19 Ooh. What is well she like? looks 19 we'll see so oh, she okay. came back she came back a few hours later with some canned soup and fruits she's clearly very nervous and other than nervously asking me how my son is doing barely said anything else she was clearly a very nice girl but i couldn't get over how young she is and i couldn't stop myself and told her she's too young to be dating someone who's twice her age and has two kids she got very defensive, and she said she knows she looks younger, but she's 23, and who she dates is none of my business. She then basically threw me out by telling me that my son's fever is almost gone, and that my ex has called and said that he'll be home in about five minutes, so I left. My ex called me that night and told me I'm an a-hole, and my comment made his girlfriend upset. I was just mentioning a fact. The, they got mm. divorced, so he's allowed to do anything he wants, first off. Um, yeah. And 23 and 42... That's not weird at all. I think that's pretty normal, honestly. Uh, they 23, go for, uh, 23 and 42. I mean, guys I go mean, for it's, younger it's, girls. It's, girls I, go I, for I, older I, guys. This is how it is, bro. Like, I, I wouldn't call it normal, but I also wouldn't say it's an issue. It's I definitely mean, definitely a larger age gap than normal, but I know people with I know people with parents of that age gap, but it's like kind of rare. Yeah, I would um, say like if she's like just turned 18, that's a bit weird, but 23, yep, that's been yep, five that, years. That's where it gets thrust. She's a full adult. Come on. 23, she's an adult. I don't I don't honestly, I don't care. Like it is totally fine to have thoughts of like, oh yeah, she's young. But to go up to her and be like, You're young. You shouldn't be dating someone that old. Like that's that's a really weird Clearly, thing. Clearly, uh yeah, they got divorced four years ago. Ago. so why do you care honestly it's been a while yeah. it's been a while so if you want him so bad go get him yourself <laughs> like, it's so funny because there are so many cases where a woman posts about her significantly older boyfriend redditors go crazy say the guy is attempting to groom her he's a sick perv however in this case the ex-wife is getting crap for saying the new girlfriend is too young what is it personally i'd be pissed if my ex left my kids with someone not equipped to care for them well who said she wasn't? Free, bro. Like, who said she's not equipped she's to not care equipped. for them? Okay, first of all, don't use Reddit comments as a as a metric for uh, whiz, uh, like being correct because it's normally the opposite. Yeah. The inverse uh, Reddit is a pretty good way to assume if something is right or wrong. Let's <laughs> do the opposite of the top up dude comment or whatever. Right. Dude, I'm not a Reddit guy, but yeah, I, I just don't totally see the issue. I think it. it's a it's a jealous wife. It's a jealous ex-wife. All right, next story. Am I the a-hole for telling my colleague he only has his job because his uncle is the CEO? Probably. I'm early. <laughs> Probably the a-hole. <laughs> Maybe, yeah, uh, depends on the situation. Mm. Probably shouldn't say that. I'm early 20s, female, and last year started working at a major company. I entered this job through a scheme for disadvantaged young people. Despite this... The interview process was still incredibly tough, and I'm proud to have made it this far. When I'm not with my team, I hang out with the other girls I've met and befriended through the scheme. The nephew of the CEO started his role at our department a little later, and for whatever reason, he's been joining us girls for lunches, etc. He tries very hard to fit in and acts like he doesn't come from a place of insane privilege. 
He will literally pretend to be humble and downplay his family's wealth just to seem relatable, I guess. Literally every multi-trillionaire YouTuber. Oh, I'm just like you. <laughs> Logan yeah, Paul be like... Me so I can have a higher watch time and engagement so I can be push pushed farther in the algorithm, yes. <laughs> Bro, I, <laughs> it's like, I, hate, I hate those streamers who are literally like get earn like $5 million a month for the past five years and they're like, thank you for the $1. It totally made my day. Thanks for the 10 bits. Yeah. Like, Flippin' loser. <laughs> Guys, I really need the I really need these donations. Goes but turns off stream, goes back to five million dollar mansion in LA. Gets like at least we're Bugatti. we're straight up. We're like, we're we're not some Twitch streamer, but we're also like, dude, we're doing fine. Like we're doing fine, the reality yeah. is like as if you have a YouTube channel, like you're probably doing fine. And any YouTubers you watch are doing fine. If you watch a streamer, like a top streamer, they're yeah. doing incredible. I I know people have a pretty warped perception. Like people are just like, oh, you know, I'll I'll donate this money. To you. Like we're good, <laughs> which is yeah, don't, my don't god. Do All right. Uh, let's see where was I. The others have been warming up to him, but I'm honestly not buying his rather fake personality. The other day, I was sitting at the canteen with another coworker, and he asked if he could join us. I didn't want that, but my coworker immediately said yes. Well, he was asking me lots of personal questions and about my journey to the company. I told him that the interview process was hard and mentally draining. He nodded and said it's tough getting into the place, but that his interview was fine. Even laughing and saying he came late one uh, came late to one because of a, a hangover. This made me mad, and I said, good for you. He thanked me and said that things always work out when you just chill out and stop taking things so seriously. Bro's Elon this Musk. <laughs> yeah. This is when I said that we both know he's not nearly as competent as he believed and that he only got the job because his uncle is literally the CEO. Mm -hmm. I get that this guy was being a butt. This guy was like not aware of his situation. Mm. However, being I don't know, it just seems like I don't know. Like, I think someone's I, I salty. Like, someone's salty. Yeah, the, yeah they suck. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I just feel like ugh, just saying that, like being like you're stupid, and the only like maybe that's true, and maybe this guy's being kind of like arrogant. But it seems like from what this person was saying that they were trying to make an effort to fit in with everyone. Sure, mm -hmm. they let their they they let a few things slip out that were kind of like would have probably made you mad, but I feel like also lashing out at them like that is kind of yeah. I don't I also don't, what is he I supposed to do? Not hang out with people like what? Yeah, like I get that he could be a bit more you know sensitive about the fact that he probably had a much easier time getting there, and that saying stuff like oh you just have to be super chill and I can show like I get that that's frustrating. It seems like. She took it from like zero to a hundred real quick. That's all I'm yeah. saying. It's actually good advice. If you chill out, everything becomes easier. Like you can think logically. Yeah, I think she took that as like, oh, just like stop working so hard and it works out, which I get like he didn't have to work as hard. And that's probably where the frustration came. But mm. yeah, he's also got a point. Like if you're relaxed in your interview and you take it seriously, but you, you don't seem like a like an AI and you're just like, oh, mm. right. Bro, world uh, is right, unfair. What's new? <laughs> My friend slash coworker gasped and looked at me like I'm crazy. The nephew shrugged and said that I don't seem to like him. It's true. Mm -hmm. She does not seem to like him. <laughs> I told him that it wasn't a personal matter, so likes and dislikes are irrelevant. Okay, I will say this is a great way to take it, because, like, you're just saying, like, you know, like, okay, you don't like me, I don't care. That's, like, the best way to take it, instead of being, like, defensive yeah. or anything. Yeah, not, not a bad response. I feel like it could have responded a lot worse. Uh, we didn't argue, but things got a little heated in asking me what I wanted him to do. Then he said that I may view him as an overprivileged a-hole, but I'm more or less the same, which makes no sense. So I fully expected him to report me to HR, but to my surprise, he never did. In fact, he started following me on social media accounts and messaging me at work more frequently. My co-workers has relayed this incident to the other girls, and the consensus is I'm the major a-hole. They, say, they said that not only was I unnecessarily hostile and rude, they, they're also mad he started hanging out with them less. Not sure if this is a coincidence, but I've also been spending less time with them. Okay. okay. Yeah, you are the a-hole. What the heck? This is, this is so dumb. I would dumb. say, yes, this person, you should not have done that. I get it's a, I get it's an annoying situation. I get that it's frustrating, but you can't... This, you're lashing out like that is not going to help you. At, I think, a, at a bare minimum, it's going to make your situations harder just in life. 
I think it's a classic case of not understanding that there's more to life than their job or anything. They're like, oh, he, he literally said, you may view him as an overprivileged a-hole, but he's more or less the same. Clearly he has other stuff in life going on where you're just like, yeah. oh, well, uh, his life must be so easy. Like, it's the classic just assuming everything about a person's life. Um, It's kind of like, yeah. you know, people watch YouTubers are like, oh, they they do, they work for 10 minutes a day, which is clearly what we do, right? 10 minutes a day. Yeah. Maybe 12 on a hard day, guys. Yeah, maybe 12. Spoiler, it's pretty much all day, every day. Okay. It's, I don't know. Yeah. I feel like people it, are it's assuming fun, a lot of things. It is like six to eight hours, like minimum. I don't, I don't know. I feel like they're assuming a lot of things. Uh, I don't know. Probably shouldn't be so, you can think that about somebody, but maybe don't say it to their face. I don't know. We probably need more information about that person. You're the a-hole. Uh, whenever you need to voice a negative opinion, ask yourself, does this need to be said? Does it need to be said right now? Does it need to be said right now by me? Okay, if I use this, I would yeah. not have a channel, so. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> yeah, <true. laughs> Unless you're making a YouTube video. That's I, I ask myself none of these. I just, the only question I ask is, does it get me views? <laughs> and if it's a yes, that's that a yes. That is a great point. That's all I think about. <laughs> uh, does it need to be said? No. Does it need to be said right now? No. Does it need to be said right No. It sounds like you're being unreasonably hostile towards this guy. Not a coincidence of spending less time with you. They think you're an a-hole. No wonder they don't want to hang out with you. Shockingly, I don't think I've ever met like a, uh, like a straight up a-hole. I think they're they're always really subtle with what they think and say. I know they're like they've definitely been mean and and like rude. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like I I'm taking like I was taking one or two or three classes in in college before, and I was doing YouTube, right? Like full time and doing like other. Sh and then they're like, I can't believe you're wasting your um college tuition right now. I, everybody's taking five or six classes, and you're only taking two or three. This is what a waste of money. And I was like, I, I wanted to tell them so badly. This is not what I'm doing, all right? I'm literally freeing up my time so I can do other stuff. And they just they, they just thought I'm like a, the laziest loser, <laughs> just doesn't work at all. But I understand yeah, that's what they see. That's see. the only thing they see. Because I'm not going to tell them I got, oh, I'm going to do this and that. Am I the a-hole for not wanting my husband to go to his ex's funeral? I'll admit I'm biased right off the bat. I couldn't stand her. I call her his ex to myself and others. He calls her his friend. We're all in our, we're all in our early 40s. She died recently, aneurysm. I've been with him 10 years now, but he's known her for 20 plus. The way he tells it, they were friends in college, decided to date, got married, then realized they weren't a great couple and decided just to be friends. All that happened years before I met him. He was clearly... Uh, she, uh, he was clear early on that she was important. A couple months into dating, it came up his friend was actually his ex-wife. He explained the above to me, saying she was one of his closest friends and it was purely platonic. I expressed some discomfort at him being so close to an ex, and he told me that's fine. If you have a serious issue with it, let me know and I'll save us some time. I'll choose her. I like you and all, but I've known her for over 12 years and she's one of the most important people in my life. You'll have to be okay with that if you want us to be a thing. When we were engaged, I asked again. He gave me this perplexed look and asked, why would us getting married affect my friendship? I sucked it up and went along. I resented every moment of knowing her, especially when we had to be social. She understood some part of him that I couldn't. Her husband was friends with mine as well. So it's not like I could use him as an angle. He'd have lunch with the ex. They go to their geeky movies and whatever. The few times I brought it up, he said, we had this conversation before. You had your chance to back out. She died after they had lunch the other day on the way to her car. He spent a bunch of time crying, but honestly, I was relieved. All right, all right, hold up. This is a bit of a bit of a pickle over here. This dude is like really good friends with his ex and kind of spent his entire life with her, whatever, 12 years. Um, And the wife is kind of jelly, I guess. But this person's like important to him. And I, as long as there's nothing going on, I think 
should be fine. Yeah, it, uh, it's okay to be jealous, but you got to find a way to, like, you can't control your feelings, but you can control how you react to your feelings. You can control how you act through your feelings, right? Hmm. Feelings can be really strong and they can be very, if you let them guide them, if, you, if you're guided through life just by your feelings solely, hmm. you will go down a lot of bad ends, right? But if you acknowledge your feelings and then from there, think what's the next most rational move on the chessboard. Here, if you think about it objectively, mm. I mean, they had a relationship before. Mm. I can understand the suspicion. I can understand the jealousy and she's not wrong for being jealous. However, this is also just now a platonic friend. I mean, I just don't, Listen. I can understand why it might be uncomfortable and you don't have to become friends with this, with this mm. woman, but I also uh, to say that you're relieved that she died. Yeah, yeah. Crazy. That was, that's what I was getting to. That's I was crazy. like, you're relieved that she died? That's, that's, that's taking it too statement. far. And he was crying Up about it that and you were It wasn't that bad. Like up until that line, she was just like, I don't really like her because I'm jealous. Okay. Mm -hmm. You don't have to. Like, I think it's a little immature, but also I have immature feelings about stuff. I, mm. It's part of human nature. That line though, that's crazy, dude. That's yeah. that's yeah. I just think it's weird to have lunch with your ex, go to movies with them if you have a partner. And this is I'm assuming this is a one on one situation. So yeah. Yep, I mean, totally if you're going movies valid. and eating with someone, isn't that literally a date? Like straight up, if it's. Uh, I mean, you can. I mean, you can go to movies and eating with friends. Um, it really is the context it's under. Mm -hmm. uh, no, but one on one, I don't know. Yeah, you know, it's, and it's your it ex-wife. It's your ex-wife. Uh, it's definitely. You know what? It definitely was sus. It definitely it was, was sus. sus. Still, you can't be like, "I'm happy she died." <laughs> like, yo. <laughs> Relax. Okay. You definitely have a Anyways. reading voice, by the way. You have like oh, a I've, reading I've been toning it for all my thousand story channels. I, <laughs> Bruh. Connor Stories, baby, go subscribe to our channel. Let's see. Yeah. Um, uh, where was I last? He was working with her husband on funeral planning. I told him, "You don't think you're going, do you?" My argument summed up: She's dead. <laughs> She's not a factor anymore. Oh my God. Bro. <laughs> He doesn't get to use his she's my friend excuse since she doesn't exist anymore. Oh my god, bro. All right, yeah, you went from slightly reasonable to full <laughs> insane person. Oh um, my gosh. He had he had his cry for a couple days. He gets to be done with mourning her already. <laughs> There's no need for him to go to her funeral mm. since I wouldn't want her at his. He uh, was the angriest mm. I've ever seen him when I told him that, okay? replying that he's going no matter how I feel and that he's willing to burn this to the frickin' ground while holding up his wedding band. Besides you, she was my closest friend in life. She went up, this, this chick went up the deep end with this sentence, with this paragraph, dude. Yeah. My argument is she's dead. She's not a factor anymore. Dude, if she's not a factor anymore, then why are you jealous if what? she's dead? She's bro. jealous she, when she's really dead, she's gonna bro. go and pipe the corpse? What do you, this is an open you never casket. Know. Oh my you God. Never <laughs> oh my God. Dude, the argument could be flipped like even better on mm -hmm. her. Like she's not a lot, like whatever suspicion you had is irrelevant. You know that they were close friends. Would you go to a close, like you're holding him back from a close friend's funeral. Your argument is so terrible. I can't even, oh my yeah, God. Yeah, I will say this is just not a good relationship considering he's saying I'm b willing to burn this into the ground over a dead uh friend which is that you clearly shouldn't be with this person if your values don't align this much that she she's so jealous she won't let you visit a yeah this relation a, a i did this ex. relationship literally like two years tops like they're they're divorcing after this at some point like guaranteed yeah. anyways him her husband and my sisters are calling me an insecure a-hole over this all saying that there was no romantic aspect to their relationship and that i'm heartless her husband went so far as calling me a ghoul for how I reacted. I never felt their relationship was appropriate, and I hid that for years because I wanted to be with my husband. Now that she's gone, I don't feel I should hide it anymore and can speak freely. Am I the a-hole for just wanting him to be done with her and not attend the funeral? Yes. Yeah. Uh, unequivocally, unequivocally the a-hole, bro. Like, no questions asked I about this. I will say, right? just replace the girl. I know, I get it's his ex-wife and they've had a relationship, but replace the girl with a guy. 
And imagine the girl's like, oh, yeah, I'm not going to let you visit your dead friend who's like a guy, you know, just a good best friend. So it's the only problem here is that she's a girl. <laughs> That's the only problem. The whole the, the whole thing's insane. Like, this is ridiculous. I mean, the thing is, too, the argument doesn't stand. Like, the argument she's making doesn't applies against her. Mm-hmm. The fact that she's gone should alleviate any, any sort of worry that they would form a relationship, right? Mm-hmm. Either emotional or physical that is beyond the bounds of their relationship that she has with him that should be completely gone he, he's he's not groping the corpse anytime he's not he's, he's not going up to the the spirit and being like yeah like dude wh- I, I don't get it dude like that that's that's a that's crazy this is a crazy levels of obsession i think the guy should pretty much leave her because clearly i i think he he prefers like his friend over her because just saying just saying because like she you clearly don't get along with your wife clearly i don't know i mean something's up Something's up. No Something's question. Up. Something's up, dude. Something's if, he, up. If, if, if there was a competition between you two, clearly the dead friend is winning because he said, I'm going to burn this to the ground. He's the closest friend in my life. And it's like, Weird. yeah. And then you've told her before that if it's a choice between you two, you're going to lose. I feel like he, he, the, uh, the partner you choose, your wife, should probably be above everybody else. So yeah. this is not uh, a good wife. <laughs> yeah, read the comments real quick. I'm sure they agree with us, but... Let's see. You are the able. Uh, when he divorces you, he probably won't have to explain his friendship with you to the next woman because seriously, who'd want to stay friends with a woman who has treated you like this? Totally agree. Wow. 84,000 people agree. Yeah. Bruh. All right. Uh, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Smash like. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.